One person was killed, five were hurt when a construction crane fell right onto an apartment building near downtown Dallas. Fox 4's Dan Godwin's live at the scene with the very latest. Dan? Well, Lauren, about the only people we're seeing near this badly damaged apartment building, Dallas police officers, DPD, is providing round-the-clock security at this site. We also did see one construction worker from our vantage point. Now, behind me, you can see where this deadly collapse happened. The crane fell from an apartment complex that was under construction onto an apartment building that was nearly fully occupied. Now, here's some video from Sky 4 this morning. Hundreds of evacuated residents are getting help with temporary housing from the building owner, Gray Star, and the Red Cross. The evacuated residents staying either in hotels or at other Gray Star properties. Now, this video shows the crane collapse from a distance. In the video, it's quite a ways away from the camera used to record this, but it does show the crane coming down. It crashed through the parking garage. Then the building collapsed in other sections. We can also see some overturned and smashed up cars that were parked in the garage. On the side of the structure, we can see where the crane came to rest against the building. One person was killed, five others hurt, two were listed in the hospital in critical condition. This is what we heard from one apartment resident about the chaos and fear as the collapse was happening. The man next door, I believe he sustained like very critical injuries to his neck. He could not move, he couldn't stand. Uh, two people had to grab him and take him out and the shock wave just really just uh, shocked the whole building. A statement was issued this morning by Biggie Crane and Rigging out of California. It reads in part, the company is aware one of its cranes collapsed during stormy weather and high winds on Sunday afternoon. Tragically, it was confirmed there was one fatality and others were injured. Our thoughts and prayers are with those directly impacted by this incident after the injured were removed from this location Sunday afternoon and everyone else was evacuated. Dallas Fire Rescue launched an intensive search effort that included uh, search dogs. Dallas Fire Rescue saying everyone is accounted for. Representatives from OSHA were on the scene here last night. They'll be back here today inspecting the crane and looking into the reason that the uh, crane gave way and resulting in this deadly collapse. Reporting live on the edge of Deep Ellum near downtown, Dan Godwin on Good Day. Thank you, Dan. We continue our coverage of this uh, same story, the crane collapse. A Fox 4 Santa Bata has details on the residents in the building who uh, are suddenly now without a home. Hannah? Right, Tim and Lauren. So we are on the south side of the building outside the Latino Cultural Center. It's kind of served as the command post for a lot of these residents. And right now you see a lot of them filing out with some structural engineers. They're actually getting the chance to finally, one by one, by floor, go back into the building and retrieve some of their items. We're talking to one of the residents this morning, Jafar Hashem. You told me that you weren't in the building when this happened, but you were going to get the chance to go back into your apartment and retrieve some of your stuff as well, right? That's correct. So right now I think the uh, security or police officers are actually organizing, um, uh, going inside the apartment safely. Um, they're organizing by floor. So far I think they're starting with the first floor right now. Um, and so uh, we're just waiting until they call our number so we can go up there. So they, we, we heard that they're going to make sure that anyone who can make it by and is in a safe part of the building to access can get the chance to get some of their stuff. What did they tell you in terms of how long you have time to grab stuff? Is there a limit on what you can grab? What are the stipulations for that? So, so at this time, um, the parking garage has been taking a lot of the damage apparently, and it's not safe at all to go there. So any apartments close to that, close to that area apparently are going to be off limits. Um, in terms of the time we're allowed, it looks like we're about allowed about five to ten minutes to pack as many things as we can go and just get out of there as quickly as we can. So five to ten minutes, not a long time when you consider how much stuff people have Absolutely. in their apartments. Do you have any idea of what you're going to grab when you head in? 
the usual computer, these things, food if I can, anything, you know, clothes, just whatever you can do to get, get, you know, get you by for the next few days, I suppose. Yeah, we, we saw some people had some suitcases with them. Did you talk to any of your neighbors or anything in terms of what kind of things they're looking to get or what people have left behind? I haven't, but I've seen a lot of people with suitcases. It looks like everyone's ready to pack up as much as they can. I have my suitcases as well ready to pack up as many things as I can too, so. So we spoke to, to the apartment owner and they said that they're going to be able to get everybody to a hotel in the meantime and then eventually um, move them into another apartment building if need be. Do you have any idea what you're going to do moving forward? Um, so some people apparently will need a hotel stay. Um, I think we're staying with, with family for now um, and then we're going to have to figure out a car. I think we're going to have to get the insurance involved in terms of getting a car. Um, and this will probably take at least a good few days. We can't take a look at our cars. Our cars are inside. No cars are allowed to get out of the parking lot for now. And so we'll just have to wait it out. Tough situation. Well, Jafar, best of luck to you. We appreciate you chatting with us. Right now you see the police department going through each of these groups. They've sectioned them off. Each of the uh, residents has tags on them, uh, stickers that kind of have their apartment number. So they keep everyone organized. The people here said that they want to make sure that everyone goes to the correct apartment. They want to make sure no one else who does not live here accesses the apartment because a lot of people had to evacuate just within minutes notice. So they left their apartments unlocked and this is going to be the first time that a lot of them, Tim and Lauren, can get back and figure out what sort of things they can retrieve uh, before this building closes down for investigators once again. For now, reporting live in Dallas, I'm Hannah Bata for Good Day.